Starting with the 2008 model year trucks, vehicles are equipped with 2007 EPA compliant engines, which means you'll notice three new dash indicator lights and a new switch. These driver information indicators are related to the new after treatment system. The MIL lamp is a malfunction indicator lamp and indicates that part of the engine's emission system is not working properly. Notify maintenance upon returning to the yard. The HESS lamp indicates high exhaust system temperature. This lamp is illuminated when the vehicle has residual regen heat and is traveling at speeds below 5 miles per hour. The warning is to exercise caution around the hot exhaust system. The DPF lamp is the diesel particulate filter regeneration lamp. When the DPF lamp illuminates solid, the diesel particulate filter must be regenerated in one of two ways. If the vehicle can maintain highway speeds, it is likely that the engine will perform an active regeneration without direct driver intervention. All you have to do is maintain 40 to 45 minutes of highway speed driving. If the vehicle cannot maintain highway speed, you will have to pull over and perform a parked regeneration. Here's how you initiate a parked filter regeneration. Before you begin, make sure the truck is parked in a safe open environment. During the DPF regeneration, the truck will be running much warmer than normal. Make sure that the engine is fully warmed up. Make sure the engine is at slow idle. It cannot be in fast idle or PTO mode. Put the transmission in neutral. Set the park brake. To begin the parked regeneration, do the following. Cycle the park brake off to on. If the vehicle has a clutch pedal, press and release the pedal. If the vehicle does not have a clutch pedal, put the transmission in drive and then back in neutral. Next, press the DPF switch to the on position and hold for 5 seconds or until the RPM begins to increase. When you release the switch, the engine will slowly accelerate with the fan engaged and the DPF lamp will go out. The HESS lamp will flash, indicating a parked regen is in process and may turn solid for a period of time. The DPF regeneration will take approximately 30 to 40 minutes. The regeneration is complete when the engine returns to low idle and the DPF lamp remains off. Then the vehicle is ready to go back to work. If the DPF lamp comes back on, the regeneration has failed and you should contact the customer support center. If you must cancel a parked regeneration once it has begun, press the DPF switch to the on position, hold for five seconds, and then release. A parked regeneration will stop if the key is turned to the off position, if the truck is put into gear, or if the parking brake is released. In addition to warning you that the DPF filter needs to be regenerated, the DPF warning lamp is also programmed to tell you how long you have to perform the DPF regeneration itself. A solid lit DPF regen light allows you approximately one hour to react appropriately. Once the DPF lamp starts flashing, it's time for driver interaction. Remember, if you can get up to and maintain highway speeds for the next 40 to 45 minutes, the engine will likely perform an active regeneration. If not, you should find a safe location to pull over and perform a parked high idle regen. If you choose to ignore the DPF regen warning, after approximately 15 minutes, you may begin to experience a D-rate. A couple of additional things to keep in mind. An interrupted regen can be restarted and completed. DDEC reports will record completed regenerations for maintenance records. If the DPF lamp comes back on after an attempted parked regen, you should contact maintenance. Remember, regeneration, if conditions are met, can occur automatically. So as a driver, it's possible that you may never experience a DPF regen situation.